My name is Desiree Hunter, and I will be talking about the axle and appendicular skeleton from my biology class. Okay, so what we're going to start with are the cranial bones. And the first one I'm going to start with is the frontal bone, and then we have the ethmoid bone, and next to that we have the cephnoid, and at the top we have the parietal, and then we have the temporal, of course, which is up the temples. And then behind that, we have the occipital bones. Okay, so now what we're going to go to is the lacrimal bone. And the lacrimal bone is located lower to that. And then we have the nasal bone, which is, of course, located here. And then after that, we have the zygomatic bone. Okay, so now we're going to go to the vomere, which is located in the middle of the nose. And after that, we have the maxilla. And then we're going to go below that, and we have the mandible bone. Okay, so next, I think I want to talk about the vertebrae. Okay, so in the vertebrae, this guy here, the first bone in the spinal cord is called the atlas. After that, we have the axis. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the cervical vertebrae. And what the cervical vertebrae is, is the first seven bones in the spinal cord. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That will be the cer uh, cervical vertebrae. Now we're gonna go to the thoracic, and the thoracic would be the next 12 after that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12. And then the next five after that would be considered the lumbar. So it would be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now after that, we're gonna have the um, sacral and the coccyx. Okay, so now what we're gonna go to is the pectoral girl and the um, upper limbs. Okay, so now we have Actually, I'm sorry, we're going to go to the thoracic cage, sorry. And with the thoracic cage, we have the body of the sternum, and on the top, we have the mandrum of the sternum, and now we're going to talk about the ribs. Okay, so the true ribs are the first seven um, of the rib cage at the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that are the true ribs. Now we're going to go to the next ribs, which would be considered the false ribs, which are ribs eight through 10. So seven, eight, nine, 10. Those are the false ribs. Now, um, the next 11 and 12 will be considered the floating, 11 and 12. Now we're gonna go to the pectoral girdle and the upper limbs. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the clavicle, which is located here, and in the back, the scapula. Okay. Now we're going to go to the humerus, which is the um, big bone in the upper arm, humerus. We're going to go to the forearm, and the big bone is the radius, and the small bone is the ulna. Okay, so now we're going to go to, let me hold this guy up, to the hand and the wrist. And in the hand and the wrist, the um, top portion are considered the phalanges, and we have Lower to that are the metacarpals, and in the middle, we have the capate. On the side of that is the hamate. Um, lower to that is the pisiform, and then we have the triquilateral, which is um, next to that. And the big one in the middle, um, lower, is the unate, and then on the side of that, we have the scaphoid, then we have the trapezium, and upper to that, we have the trapezoid. Okay, so now what we're going to be going to is the pelvic girdle. And with the pelvic girdle, um, the upper is the ilium, and then we have the ischium, um, the circular bone down here, and then we have the pubic bone located here. Okay, so now we're going to start going to the legs. And with the legs, this big bone, of course, right here is considered the femur. And lower in the knee is the patella. And then we have the big bone in the lower leg, which is considered the tibula. And the smaller bone is considered the fibula. Okay. So now we are at the um, ankle and foot. Ooh, I keep them up. Okay. So in the ankle and foot, 
the bone right here is considered the calcaneus and then the bone on the top here is considered the talus okay and on the side of that we have the cuboid and then we have the um which i forgot to mention was the navicular okay and then what we're going to go to next are the metatarsals and the metatarsals are kind of like the hand um but in the hand it's the metacarpals so we have the metatarsals and lastly we have the phalanges thank you for listening and have a great day